I'm not afraid of... Good morning, Falcons. Today is Monday, February 6, 2017. Today is a V-Day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. My name is Wesley Jones, and welcome to Making the Grade! Today's day tip, talk about assignments with friends. Discussing assignments with friends is another great way to study. This is very helpful when studying for novel tests. Friendly discussions about books can, deep, can help deepen understanding. Until next time on Making the Great, have a felt day, an excellent day. I'm Austin. I'm Diego. And I'm Bailey. Welcome to the Davis Daily News Show. Attention 8th grade students, please be reminded that you are to return your winter letter signature pages no later than Wednesday, February 8th to your first period teacher. The Student Government Association invites you to spread kindness and caring by purchasing a heart to owe gram for your bestie, your friends, co-workers, and staff. Let's be the example by showing appreciation to and for others. They will, sell, they will be selling hardograms in the mornings beginning February 7th through February 13th. They will be delivered on February 14th, Valentine's Day. And now for today's Black History Month fact. Hello, my name is Yasmin Adelike. I'll be sharing today's Black History fact. Mary McLeod Within was a determined woman. When she was a child, many people felt that educating black people was a waste of time, but Mary wanted to go to school and her parents supported her. She graduated from Moody Bible Institute in 1895 and became a teacher. In 1904, she moved to Florida to establish a school for girls. With only $1.50, she arrived in Daytona Beach, Florida, but that didn't stop her. She opened her school in 1905. It later became bethune Cookman University. BCU currently enrolls over 3,800 students. Ms. McLeod Bethune also founded the National Council for Negro Women in 1935 and was an advisor to four presidents of the United States. Mary McLeod Bethune was a great educator and determined activist. And now for today's club news. The Charles County Winter Chess Tournament will be held on Saturday, February 25th at Thomas Stone High School. Please grab an informational flyer from the library and see Mr. Gerhardt if you have any questions. You must register before February 22nd to participate. Falcons, continue to soar with safety by entering and exiting classrooms quietly and walking in the hallways. Falcons, soar to excellence. Have a great day, Falcons. The reason why I like to make learning fun is because when I was a kid, I had a hard time in school. Yeah, like I said, I really did struggle with learning. But one thing that made it even harder was as a kid, my mom got sick and I had to change schools. I didn't know what to do. I was so scared. But thank goodness I had teachers who really cared about me. Yes, like I said, the teachers really cared about me. I know it's easy to think that your teacher is picking on you or being mean because they give you work. But without teachers, work would be really hard. Next, I want to talk to you about an amazing teacher in black history named Mary McLeod Bethune. Mary was an educator that fought to make sure that African-American children received an education in the United States during a time when many did not. Mary was born in 1875. 
Her parents were farmers. Being in a large family, Mary was the 15th born of all the children. Her parents were slaves, but after being freed, they saved up enough money to buy a farm. When Mary was 11, she was allowed to go to school. Each day, Mary would walk miles to and from school just to learn her lessons. This is also where she started teaching at an early age because Mary would come home and teach to her family the things she learned in school. Continuing on in her education later in life, Mary attended Moody Bible Institute where she graduated. Leaving Moody, she was able to teach and return back home to the South to help others with the knowledge she had learned. Mary knew how important education was. She believed that education would help many African Americans succeed in life. That is where she opened up the Daytona Literary and Industrial School for Training Negro Girls in 1904. Helping the school to grow, Bethune's College soon joined together with Cookman Institute of Jacksonville, where they named it Bethune-Cookman College, which was a four-year institution. Bethune also served as the college president. Known in the United States as an amazing educator, Bethune soon was asked by President Roosevelt to head up and be the director of the Negro Affairs in the National Youth Administration. There she helped and oversaw a black cabinet with officials appointed by the federal government to help figure things out that black people needed in the country. Mary was also known for being very vocal in the civil rights movement. She often spoke out against blacks being lynched and boycotting businesses that would not hire anyone who was African American. During World War II, she was a special assistant to the secretary. There, she was an assistant director of the Women's Army Corps. Working hard, she helped to organize the first women's officer candidate school and helped other African-American women to join the military. One thing that helped Mary was that she had a good friend with power. That's right. She was really good friends with Eleanor Roosevelt, the wife of then president Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Whenever she needed to see the president, her buddy Eleanor would sure make it happen. Even after she stopped working for the government in the National Youth Administration, she still continued to speak out where she retired back in Florida, pushing on and being an advocate for the civil rights movement before she died in 1955. Always striving to help others succeed in education, Mary McLeod Bethune will always be known as a woman who fought for education.